Hello everyone. In the last video, we saw how to write a publisher in C++ for a RAS framework. Today, we're going to see how to subscribe to that published message. So he, over here, I am in the same package that I had created in the earlier videos. If I go into the source folder, the packages name, I see that my talker.cpp or my publisher is always here. Let's create a new file called listener.cpp. Listener.cpp is a very easy file. Again, the first two lines are the header files. This is a callback function. I'll come to this once I explain where do I call this. Going into the main, this is again the init part. Init, as I said earlier, has to be unique. If I do ROS node uh, list over here, listener would be displayed when I run this code. Talking about the node handle n, that's the node handle initialization with the variable n. The main line, ROS subscriber sub is equal to n subscribe chatter 1000 chatter callback. As you might have guessed, chatter is again the ROS topic over here, which we need to subscribe. So this chatter would be published by my publisher on the other code. 1000 is like my queue size again. So for instance, my code is not able to process messages fast enough. In this case, if the queue size reaches thousands, then my old messages would be dropped. Chatter callback is where I call this function over here. Now chatter callback is basically getting called each time I have a publisher in the ROS topic of chatter. If I have no publisher, this callback function would not be called. And finally, ROSPIN. Now what ROSPIN does over here is it enters into a loop calling message callback, which, which is the chatter callback again and again as fast as possible. This doesn't take up more memory or more CPU or anything like that, and it will shut down automatically when ROSMaster shuts down. So you do not need to worry about different GPU or CPU usage when writing Raspin basically. The code is just this much, should, should be very easy. I'll just uh, mention line six over here too. Ras info I heard, and again, this message data dot C string. So message data is again, if you remember from the last video for the publisher, my data type that I took was a string, standard messages string. So here, I'm just taking that message of standard messages string, and then I'm extracting the data value of it. Data value is a, can be converted to a C string form and then printed. Instead of ROS info, I can do multiple post processes over here. For instance, I have to subscribe to a topic and do some mathematical calculations or do some image processing. This is the part where I need to do everything. That's all about the code. What next? Since this is a C++ file, I need to edit my CMake list. Now CMake list is very easy to edit. Again, I just need to add an executable and target link libraries. So the code's name is listener. So I'm just gonna write listener and th this is the executable name and source listener.cpp is again where my file is stored and I'm just linking the libraries over here with the executable listener. Saving this file, going into my workspace and then cat can make. So first I'll run raw score. Raw score is up. Now I will run my subscriber node first. So ROS run the name of the package and my uh, C++ file or the executable that I just created for listener. Will this give any message or no? It wouldn't because my publisher is not running. As soon as my publisher is up, this will start printing messages. So in a new terminal, I am gonna go to my workspace, source it, and ROS run the name of the package and talker. 
As soon as I press enter, I start receiving messages. Hello world is what I'm publishing and hello world is what I'm receiving over here. Um, so in the future videos, we are gonna see how to combine RAS subscriber and publisher together. And there are gonna be a lot many things we can do with just the simple usages of publishers and subscribers. Stay tuned, Robometrics.